So you've done a test for calcium hardness and found that it's below the recommended levels. What should you do about it? Well, find out in this video. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and this video is all about low calcium hardness in your swimming pool. If this video does help you at all, please like it and subscribe to my channel, which is all about swimming pool maintenance. All right, so why is low calcium hardness in your pool a problem? Well, if you have low hardness, you can experience a phenomenon which is known as etching of your pool surface. And this particularly occurs with concrete surfaces. This is when the calcium hardness is actually low enough that you will start to see the surface of your pool degrade and actually start dissolving into the water. You even start to see the tile grout start to dissolve um, into the water and you'll start to notice scrape marks along the surface of your pool, particularly concrete surfaces. So you wanna avoid this of course, um, and, and then for that, Considering that, you need to know what is the ideal concentration of calcium hardness in your pool. This is generally recommended as being 200 to 400 ppm. And keep in mind that excess calcium hardness can um, bring its own problems. So don't overshoot and go too high when you're trying to correct your calcium hardness. How do you increase it? Well, you can use um, products which are known as calcium hardness increases, and they consist of uh, a chemical known as calcium chloride, which will boost your calcium hardness level. How much should you add to your pool? Well, that depends on a few different factors, including your pool volume and your current calcium hardness concentration. So for that reason, I've made a pool calcium calculator, and we'll take a quick look at that right now. So here is the pool calcium calculator available at pooladvisor.com.au and you'll find a link to this in the description below. Here's how it works. First of all, you enter your pool volume in liters, which could be for example, 60,000 liters. You would then enter your current calcium concentration, which might be about 125 ppm. And you're trying to lift that up to the recommended range of 200 ppm. The calculator will then tell you, you need to add calcium hardness increaser to reach your desired level. And you will need to add 12.5 kilograms, which is quite a bit. So, um, and you can see that if you play around with these numbers, say that you were actually starting on with at 175, you would need to then only add 4.2 kilograms of this. And if you had a larger pool, you would need 5.5 kilograms. So you can play around with these numbers and the calculator will tell you exactly how much you need to add for your pool. And that's how it works. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope this video has helped you. Um, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.